spring break is over and that means it's the start of the spring semester. So today I'm at school and I'm gonna show you guys around a typical, let's not say typical, I'm gonna show you guys around a Japanese university. I don't know if you guys could tell from the little like, you know, V-roll video-ish thing. Okay, I commute to school. Like I said in like my previous video, I take the subway like, and then the thing that's cool about my university is that there's this, they built like a subway entrance, like entrance from the subway. I don't really know what to call it, but I'll just get out of the subway and like I take 10 steps, not even 10, like five steps, and then there's a university entrance. I just go up, climb up those stairs, and then I'm here. I'm at the school, so, which is great because if it's raining, or if it's too hot, or if it's snowing, or anything like that, I don't have to get, you know, exposed to the harsh weather conditions, which is great sometimes. Even though today's a nice day, I mean, it's spring, but look what I'm wearing. It's literally, like, still cold. So today is Friday. It's relatively chill. It's like one of the chill days. I'm taking 12 classes this semester, which is a full load because each class is worth two credits and you can take like up to 24 credits at my university. I think it's different according to which school you go to, but I'm taking 12 classes, so Monday's off. I have a three day weekend, four days of school. But there's two major things that are different from a school in America. Sorry, I don't really know much of the UK or the Australian system, but the first thing is that we work on the period system. So I know, in high school, back in the US, they like, used to have periods, like first period, second period, third period, and all that. But once you enter college, you, have, you might have like a 7 a.m. and the next class starts at like 8.55 or something random like that. But here, we still work on periods. So we still have like first till I think fifth or sixth period. And each period is 90 minutes long. And we have like a passing period and everything, which is great. And we have a designated lunch time. So that's the one thing that's different. The second thing, is that we only meet once a week for these classes. So it might have, it might have like international marketing or macroeconomics or something like that. Because I am a business student, I'm a business major. But the thing is, like, I only have 90 minutes to cram and remember what the professor's teaching me, and I'm expected to know it by the next week. So like, it's a little tough because I have so much to do and juggle. Like, there's 12 classes, two drastically different things to memorize and learn so that's that's the second thing but today I am here early my class starts usually starts at 9 a.m. on Tuesday Wednesday Thursday but Friday starts at 1 10 so I have a little time in the morning it's currently 9 14 in the morning but I wanted to get here early so I could get my assignments done and work and be on top of everything because 12 classes 12 different assignments 12 different readings Right behind me is our school co-op. And if you go a little bit over here, is the school bookstore. We also have electronics and stationery, right over there, like right next to the stairs, is the travel agency. Oh, and I almost forgot, so this is the co-op. But if you go here, is the school cafeteria. I mean, we have like multiple cafeterias, but this is quote unquote the main cafeteria because it's the main campus. If you buy at the bookstore, you get 10% off books and then 20% off stationery. Christmas season, that tree actually lights up and it becomes a gigantic Christmas tree. All right, so today I'm taking three classes, two of which are Japanese, are gonna be in Japanese. They're like for the legit, like hardcore Japanese kids. And <laughs> let's see if it can hang. But like most of my other classes are in English. I'm also taking German. So I'm taking like German, Japanese, and English this semester, which is like really exciting. First class today is I think like Kigyo Bunitsu, which is basically like Japanese corporation analysis or some like business type class thing. Um, I'm sure it's gonna be a huge lecture hall. So not too excited about that because I prefer cl small class sizes. And the good thing about my university or the program I'm in is that I only have like 20 to 25, maybe less kids in my batch we call them batch because every semester there's a new batch that comes in but i only have like 20 to 25 people in my batch so like each class isn't too big it's like 
manageable, you know, like 30 to 40 people. The professor actually knows you, like we had sometimes go out to lunch with the professors. We know everyone's names, which is really great. But these Japanese courses are like the typical, you know, university courses that are larger, bigger, and lectures. I mean, they're gonna be in a lecture hall. So that's what I'm gonna have today. And after that, I have an industry and labor in Japan, which is going to be taught in English. And I'm pretty sure it's a small class size. And then my last class is like a fun class. I'm taking intro to cinema, I think. So it's gonna teach me about like camera angles and like shots and like edits and music and all that, which is what I'm interested in, hence this YouTube channel. And if we look over here, it's still cherry blossom season. We have pretty cherry blossoms and like that right there, it's a koi pond. I don't know why we have a koi pond, honestly. Why? Like, I don't know. I didn't even know we had a koi pond until like a year into me being at the school. I can't find a good angle, so I'm just gonna hold this. I think you're putting it on this bush. Okay, so that finally kind of worked. I just wanted to show you guys around the temple that is right next to my university. My university is kind of confusing. It's kind of like NYU if you've ever been there. NYU is in the city, like the buildings are in the city and the same as my school, like not really a city, but it's in the neighborhoods. So in between like the buildings we have this beautiful temple that sometimes I walk through, like sometimes, not really, it's probably like my second or third time, but there's a temple and there's also a museum. And if you remember from the last video, like I posted about the cherry blossoms, we also have the Imperial Palace near our school. So like on one side is the Imperial Palace, on the other side, in between some of our campuses, is this beautiful temple and then we have a campus and then some cafes and yeah, a bunch of college towny things. My um, camera was sitting on that bush right there. I don't know how it made it work. So here we are. This is part of the temple. There's that. There's also a bigger building right over there. And that says Museum Bizutsuka. I think it's like somewhere over there. Covered by trees right now, but that building right there is part of my university. So it just shows how close it is. on the ground this is where most of my classes are so I'm like always here most of the time but I'm going to the computer lab to study Here's Lauren, once again. So today we're at this curry place. That's another part of our campus. How many buildings? Like, oh, there's a lot. There's, there's like, a lot. They're there's just all scattered throughout. Yeah. But, Welcome to an inner city school, I guess. Yeah, and then we're waiting <laughs> for our other European friend. Yes. She's always about like five minutes late. Yeah. So. We still love her. Yeah, we still love her. This is my European friend that was five minutes late, as always. <laughs> <laughs> and so we got loco moco. Ooh, is that a poached egg on there? Yeah. Damn, and this place is super affordable. Yes. College student prices. Yeah, it's like 50 and off if you get a small instead of a medium. And, and mine is gonna come. I got a vegetable curry. My body is ready. <laughs> We're back at school after our delicious lunch at the curry place. And then it's like still lunchtime, so everyone's eating and picnicking out. Even though I'm kind of dressed like it's winter. Put your jacket off. No, it's still kind of cold though. Yeah, it is. It's cold, crazy. but it's nice. I swear it's cold. Should I just give you guys a present for you right now? Or should oh, I wait till later? It's up to you. I'll do it right now because it's too heavy to carry. I have a few. Numero uno. <laughs> this is from Trader Joe's. I feel like I'm in an off unboxing video right now. From Trader Joe's. Oh, oh. This one. Oh Trader Joe's item. Yeah, first. Oh, how exciting! Huge classroom. Ah, 
Yeah. Zoe's taking a Japanese class because she didn't know it's going to be in Japanese and <laughs> signed up for it. Oh, but, are you gonna drop it? Yeah, she's probably going to drop it. Let's see if we can hang. And we're going to be the only one with a computer too. Yeah, Japanese no one. Okay, yeah, no one else has a computer. This is probably like a normal college lecture hall. <laughs> But we're not used to it. I'm like surrounded by all these students right now, but it's fine. Um, we just finished our first Japanese university level class. And then because we had the professor last semester in English, basically Zoe just stood there because she got really nervous. But I like did all the talking. I was like, hey professor, I really enjoyed it. It'd be really cool if you could allow us to write the final essay in English and not Japanese because, you know, a little nervous. Um, yeah, I don't know if my writing skills are there. And then I just, you know, gave him a lot, a lot of points to why we should write it in English. I was like, yeah, why not? Like, I can read English anyways. So, Zoe is going to be taking a Japanese university level course. I'll be there to help out if she ever needs it. And but, I'm helping you with German. Yeah, because she's helping me with German. So, yay! Like, I'm really excited. No, we're like really happy right now. Oh my gosh, I don't think you understand how happy we are. 8.01 p.m. So it's a little while later now. Suddenly I'm at Lauren's place. Yes. I know, I know. I was at school like two seconds ago, but now I'm at Lauren's place after my three classes. And today, because I've never watched Harry Potter, <gasps> yeah, a shock, I know. <laughs> I actually watched the first one and maybe like part of the third one. I don't really know. I was probably like this big. So <laughs> don't remember too much of the story. But we're she has it, it, so we're gonna it's watch all it. All eight Some of our friends are coming, and then we have our souvenirs from our respective places that we went to over break. So I, you know, I have my American Girl Scout cookies, and like some of my friends have never had s'mores before. Not me. Not her. <laughs> not her. Because she's American. <laughs> so I figured I'll get them the s'mores version. So like, kill two birds in one stone, and then we got some chocolate, some chips, Taiwanese snacks, sun cakes from Taiwan. Some white cakes from Hong Kong. Hashtag when you're international. What else? What kind of cake are we gonna have? Cheesecake? I was right, we got cheesecake. Wait, which one's wife? Wife cake? Sun. Sun cake. Cheesecake! Yeah. <laughs> this is what we're gonna do. It's gonna be a lit Friday night. Very lit, as you can see. It's Harry Potter and snacks. Mm -hmm. 